Puss in Boots, what I thought was going to be a cash grab movie to shake every last drop out of a franchise that was getting tired, surprisingly ended up being really fun. Like, really, really fun. All the creativity and energy that was put into the first two Shrek films is put in here. There are a lot of really creative ideas, though I am a bit mixed on some of them. Like Jack and Jill being a Bonnie Clyde Old West Outlaw duo, that's a really fun idea, but I always thought they were siblings, but in this one they're married, I don't know. I guess it doesn't actually specify in the nursery, but I always thought they were siblings, so it's kind of threw me off a little bit. Also, wasn't the character of Jill in Shrek 2 as a throwaway joke, and she looks completely different here even though this movie is a prequel? Just like how Rumpelstiltskin in Shrek the Third was different from the Rumpelstiltskin from Shrek Forever After. I know, those are nitpicks. But you should have at least some consistency if you want these films to feel connected. Antonio Banderas, just like in Shrek 2, absolutely steals the show as Puss in Boots, along with Selma Hayek as the character Kitty Softpaws. They have such a fun dynamic and clever back and forth. There's a scene where they're at a club and they end up in a dance fight, and the gags in this scene had me cracking up. The plot also feels like a western mixed with a heist movie. Wagon chases, gunfights, planning a heist, and all done in a very fun way. The film also has some really touching moments where he learned about who Puss was, even as a kid, how he was tricked into a life of crime by someone he thought was his friend, then decided to become this Robin Hood type character. This film has really good character development. Now, there's a running joke about a cat that always gets surprised, and it's funny the first time they use it, but the other times it gets kind of annoying. I think the joke kind of only worked once, they just kind of overused it, because it was like in all the trailers and everyone loved it that way, but I don't know. But other than, that, other than those few nitpicks, I think that Puss in Boots as a film is practically perfect. So I'd give Puss in Boots an A-, a 9 out of 10, and a 4 out of 5 stars.